today from San Diego, California. It's a special New Year's Day edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Taking on the Sacramento Miners. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle with their opponents. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and it will begin at the 25. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick back in 2015 out of Florida State, Jameis Winston. If you just break it down in individual terms, he played really well last week. Zero interceptions, three touchdown passes. Not a whole lot more he could have done to win that game. But you know something's funny when we talk to him. All he focused on were throw. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And the defense could not have written a much better script than that first drive. Pick six. The offense never got a chance to really get oiled up there, did they? But the defense, they certainly got in gear. What a big-time play and a great way for them to start. And now the offense, they've got to turn things around and figure this out because your backs are on the ground real quickly. Yeah, usually when you're starting the game getting the ball, 0-0 zero, zero is the only score you're worried about. Now the second time you get it, you're already down a touchdown. Cody Parkey is on now for the point after. It's up and good, and it'll give his guys a 7-0 lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken in at the three. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. A look at Jameis Winston now as he gears up to lead this offense again. And looking to erase his memory bank from his opening drive a moment ago that ended in a pick six for the first points of the ball game. And in my experience, a lot of quarterbacks, after throwing a pick six, the first thing they want to do is fire another one and get those points back immediately but what really helps you get back in sync is a good, long, methodical drive, mixing the run and the pass, tamp things down a little bit. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Six catches, 66 yards. And he was able to pull that last pass in, but he's going to face a tall order here because he's going up against the number two unit in the NFL against the pass. From the 27, Winston throwing the out route incomplete. It's Higgins. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Now a first carry for Derrick Henry. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Jameis to throw it. And this one incomplete. He tried to check it down to his running back and nearly had the ball picked. On third down, Winston. Barkley a first down and more. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. Oh, that's a big let off there on third down because you've got to count for the running back coming out of the backfield. They didn't, and they got burned, not just for a first down, but for big yardage as well. So 
So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Winston. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Now a handoff to Henry. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills? And it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Derrick Henry. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. Now Winston. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Again to Henry. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. They'll run with Henry. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll be fourth down. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. So fourth down coming up, John Harbaugh send on the field goal unit. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So a conservative decision there, but it does put them on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. Okay, I'm not taking a turn to negative town, even though it's going to sound like it. The two interceptions he threw last week, those obviously have to be eliminated, and that was the focus of practice this week. But let's face it, he did throw three touchdown passes. And they got the win. And they got the win, so I think it was a good week for him to work on things. Had some positives, the win being for, first and foremost. Now he's just got to eliminate those interceptions. Opening carry of the game for Cordero Patterson. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Smith going to throw on third and one. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And he's out of bounds. Able to take this one up to the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Patterson on the carry. 
And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The numbers for him from a week ago, 14 carries, 54 yards. He's been a huge part of their winning streak because he establishes not just an identity and a tone, but the team relies on it. He takes care of the football, he gains yardage for him, chews up clock, and that's been a big part of why they're winning games lately. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Throwing on third down, Smith. Flushed out right. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. That's something you have to be aware of as a defense and have to find a way to account for him. And if you're not going to use a spy, you're telling your guys to keep your eyes on him because when he breaks out and makes plays like that, all he does is hurt you. Have to at least be able to contain him somewhat. There they could not. First downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Throwing is Smith and looking for Kelly, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker Jalen Smith. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. Here's Sacramento's offense once more. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. And all his first carry, he loses the football. And this is picked up by the defense. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They're going to start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now Gino connects with Sanu right side. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second down and three. They run with Patterson. And he's taken down inside the 30. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. Patterson. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A shotgun handoff to Patterson. And down inside the 15 he goes. 41 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? From 
from the 13 now they work on first and 10. On the draw is Edwards. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the eight yard line. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now a handoff, Edwards. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Throwing now is Geno. And it's caught. Touchdown. Tyler Lockett. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the aftershocks are able to extend their lead. And all about timing there on that short slam, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. Now Parkey for the extra point. This one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Here's Sacramento's offense once more. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. <laughs> a big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. <laughs> Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. <laughs> to throw is Winston. He dumps it off to Barkley. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Short completion, just four yards. And just like that, it's third down. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. A rough go there on third down, a loss of four. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. On oh, the return is Jones. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, eight-yard return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. On second down now. It's Patterson. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. So it looks like somebody may have forgotten the snap count, and a five-yard penalty ensues. That's going to set him back five yards. 
Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Back to throw, Smith. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Saquon Barkley deep to return. And a seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Sacramento's offense once more. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. On second down, here's Henry. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Now it's Henry. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 44 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Obviously an important run to avoid the three and out on your own side of the field. Shows a lot of faith in that offensive unit, doesn't it? That you want to run the ball in that situation. Pick up the first down. Also helps out your defensive guys a little bit, too. Allows them to get at least one more series of downs in order to get some rest. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. And I give this time to the tailback. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now Winston to Barkley on the check down. And he'll get it down here to the 43. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. To throw, Winston. Open man, completes it to Smith-Schuster. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats. And the pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Winston now to throw on first down. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 16 yards there. Two straight plays of 16 yards and another first down. When the hitch route has run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. And now Winston wants to talk this one over as he'll take a timeout, as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. First down, Winston. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They'll throw again. Winston under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Lorenzo Carter coming in hard that time on the blitz, and he gets him down. It's a loss of four. 
This offense continues to shoot themselves in the foot. And here, another sack. All game long, we've seen missed assignments, which have led to turnovers, sacks. This group has not played well at all here in the first half. Winston. Escaping the pressure right. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. Now that's disappointing for the defense. They had the advantage, had excellent coverage all over the field, but they let him get away, scramble, and pick up a first down and inside the five-yard line. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And Barkley will try to punch it in. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. So second and goal, and the big man Henry alone in the backfield. Throwing, Winston. And he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Final play of the half here, Winston. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. And since the penalty occurred in the end zone, move the ball to the one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly penalty. And his kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17 as we send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what works to start the half. This will be a touchback. And this offense set to go now to begin the third quarter. First down, Smith. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. And some play callers, when they go into games, they don't mind calling a lot of screens and they don't care what down. They were maybe one block away from really having something there to start this drive. Good job defensively to cut through the blockers and make the tackle on the screen, or that could have gone for maybe 15 or 20 yards. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 53 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Smith now to throw. Flush to his right. And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. 12 yards on back-to-back -back plays there, and that's another first down. Well, that was man coverage. So once he decides to run with the football, there's no one to account for him, and he turns it into a nice gain. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. 
Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And this will be scooped up by the defense. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So turnovers, Charles, you figure will be key in the second half. And that's a big giveaway there. Yeah, and as you and I both know, coaches are always preaching ball security. And none more often than right here in the second half of a tight football game. Now you've got to believe what the coaches are saying and take care of that football. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And they just got a little help from their defense forcing the turnover. Now can they make that pay off in points? They need to, partner. They're down on the scoreboard. Need to take advantage of those opportunities. And this is a good one right in front of them. Give them a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield but what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. And they'll send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. A 40-yard punt. Give him three on the return. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. So here is the home side to take over on offense. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. Once more, they turn to Patterson. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Third and 11. And some extra depth to the secondary here. They're in the dime. Gino to out of throw. Here's Sanu on the catch. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And a look now at the game so far for Jameis Winston. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it's struggle. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, <laughs> when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground, but that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Winston now gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. On 
on second down. It's Henry, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. 56 yards on the ground for him so far. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. This is Henry. Shifts by him. He'll get it to the 40. Broke a tackle there to get some extra yardage. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Henry. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Here's Winston. He's got his tight end fan. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. As an unbiased observer, I think it would have been interesting to see what they would have done if they hadn't gotten the first down there. But since they did, I guess the point is moot. And yeah, they're right there in that middle ground, field goal range, punt, go for it. But as you said, they picked it up. Jameis now on first down. And he will find Davis. That's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Back to the ground now, it's Henry. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. A first down carry for Barkley. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Malik McDowell there to make the tackle. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Working out of the gun, Winston. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. It'll be first and goal when we come back. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts. Here's Winston. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, any caused incompletion is good for a defense. But when you add to it that you get a little hit on the quarterback, knock him to the ground, make him think a little bit, hopefully knock him off his game, especially in a game of this magnitude, this tight in the fourth quarter, got to feel pretty good as a defense. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Khalil Mack, he continues to wreak havoc in the offensive backfield. Sack number 16 on the year. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. Third and goal. Keep in mind, very possibly four down territory. They'll look to throw, and it's caught. Well, they are able to get nine yards out of that, but now it's fourth down. Well, they certainly didn't get what they wanted on that play. That means it's a big time decision on what you call on fourth down. Absolutely, because a field goal here doesn't do them much good.
Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. Desperation time, Winston on fourth down. And he is not going to be able to get away as they swarm it for a loss shy of the goal line. They're turned away on fourth and goal. And the ball will go over on the goal line stand. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there'll be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, <laughs> bring it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball to their territory. On second and a couple. Smith, and he'll complete this one to Patterson. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And that'll make it third down. Here's Smith. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Jamin Davis. And did he get in? No. They'll mark him down at the one-yard line. Was such a costly interception. Nearly a pick six, but now they're so close, they are knocking on the door for a touchdown. And I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is, and oftentimes it's successful. But in this case, you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football. That interception almost cost them six points. Now their defense has to run onto the field, probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way. They've got to see if they can stop us. And it's caught. Touchdown. Noah Finn, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Miners have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. So part one of what they needed is done. They get in the end zone. Now you have to imagine we'll see a try for two. And that's what the book says, but defensively, they can't hang their head right here. They've still got a chance to come out with the lead if they make a play. All right, now a big two-point conversion attempt still to come. Winston to throw for it. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Geno Smith getting ready to go again here on offense. And it was his interception on the last drive that wound up leading to a game-tying touchdown. And somehow, you can make this a positive, though. You know why? Game tied now. So you're not protecting a lead. So you're not playing that way. you got to go get the lead again. So maybe it loosens him up a little bit and allows him to go ahead and be a little more free in his play. Tackle made there by Buda Baker. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second and six, Smith. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. To throw is Smith. And right side, Henry's got it. Seven yards to pick up there. On second down now, it's Patterson. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to move the sticks. It'll be third and about a foot or two. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the head. No chance to get away there for 
Smith as he goes down. The former third round pick, Justin Jones, bringing the lumber that time. Well, every now and then you just absolutely outguess yourself. Third and inches, and they decide not to run the ball, you end up seeing the end result. The end result was not good. They elect to pass, and it backfires. Here's Chris Jones now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll start on the ground. It's Derrick Henry. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. On second down and four. Winston will get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. He'll look to throw. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Henry will get it. He's been busy today. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And he's brought down after a very nice game. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Winston now from the 50. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. Three yards the gain there, second down. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackled it for just a short gain. Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Now a handoff to Henry. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. All tied up, less than two minutes to go. So it's our visitors with the football as we get you reset. And they're facing a big third down now in this tie ball game. They'll run it again with Henry. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now... In this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A 20th carry now for Derrick Henry. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. <laughs> Running from the gun with Henry. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. On third down, Barkley. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. A 
first down carry for Henry. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Again, it's Henry. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. All right, my man, this is now where it's risk-reward. Because on defense, you've got to crowd the line of scrimmage. You've got to get in all the gaps, get up tight on everyone, and try and force the field goal attempt here. You can't let them break one big, but you know something you crowd the line of scrimmage. If they do pop one, it's going to go. Yeah, I was going to say, could take it to the house, but the magnitude of this possible upcoming field goal, every yard counts. From here, it would be a 45-yard field goal attempt, certainly in range, but they'll look for more yardage on third down. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. Two for two on the afternoon, and a third would win. And his kick is good. He knocks through his third field goal of the game, and this one is the one that decides it. And they've come in here and stolen one on the road. So this crowd will not go home happy. It's a victory for our visitors. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but they were able to get the job done, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> no doubt about it. And let's face it, they had to be more than nervous in the fourth quarter. But a lot of that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right, that reserve tank. They hauled it out. Offense scored some points. Defense held them. And lo and behold, they walk away with a win. Maybe expend a little more energy than they expected to, but they'll take it. So for our visitors, they get an all-important 10th win to move them to 10-6 and six with one week to go. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, we thank our entire crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. This is the NFL on EA Sports.